Pakistan has failed miserably in its, in its efforts to internationalize Jammu and Kashmir with Islamabad getting no backing on the issue whatsoever. Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif raised the issue with almost every war leader he held talks with on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly session. Meanwhile, in further worries for Pakistan, two powerful American lawmakers have introduced a bill in the U.S. House of Representatives to designate Pakistan a state sponsor of terror. Pakistan is fast becoming an example of how to lose friends and alienate people across the globe. Two powerful American lawmakers have introduced a bill in the U.S. House of Representatives to designate Pakistan as a state sponsor of terrorism in a setback to Islamabad at a time when Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is trying to drum up support over the Kashmir issue. The Pakistan State Sponsor of Terrorism Designation Act has been moved by Republican Ted Poe and Democrat Dana Rohrabach, who are both members of the influential U.S. Congressional Committee on Terrorism. Poe has said not only is Pakistan an untrustworthy ally, Islamabad has also aided and abetted enemies of the United States for years. He said that Pakistan's reckless behavior is a serious security risk to its neighbors and India, unfortunately, pays price all too often. He further added that it's time we stop paying Pakistan for its betrayal and designate it for what it is, a state sponsor of terrorism. Even in its neighborhood, Pakistan is being vilified. Tuesday saw Afghanistan expressing solidarity with India as a country which has suffered at the hands of Pakistan's terror factory. The next day it was Bangladesh. My Prime Minister in a message to Prime Minister Narendra Modi has condemned this act of terrorism in strongest terms and she has said Bangladesh opposes terrorism in all its forms and manifestations and in pursuance of our zero tolerance policy towards terrorism. She has said that Bangladesh will be cooperating with India in this battle against terrorism. The SARC summit scheduled to be hosted in November this year by Islamabad seems to be in jeopardy. While Bangladesh has yet to take any decision on the level of its participation, several members seem unlikely to send their top leadership for the meet. No decision has so far been taken who would represent us at the forthcoming SAR summit in Islamabad. But as I said earlier, there will be ample opportunity for us to discuss with the Indian leadership also at the Goa. Multilateral forums like BRICS, of which India is a founding member, along with two UNSC permanent members, Russia and China, have also condemned the Uri attack. BRICS has sought a firm legal framework under the UN for concerted efforts to fight terrorism. It has also called for an early conclusion of the negotiations on the Comprehensive Convention Against Terrorism. U.S. President Barack Obama said that the international community should reject all forms of terrorism and there is need to embrace the tolerance that results from the respect for all human beings. He added that nations should stop resorting to proxy wars. More than 20 countries, including Saudi Arabia and Qatar, have now condemned the Uri terror attack and called for action against those who sponsor terror as a state policy. Pakistan is increasingly becoming an isolated state, not only globally but regionally as well, with both Afghanistan and Bangladesh slamming Pakistan, question is what will happen to the big Sark summit which is going to happen in Islamabad later this year. With camera person Anil Khanna, Sidhan Sibbal, DD News, New Delhi.